I think I had something to prove in San Francisco. I was there for work and I extended my trip out past when I needed to be there, like I do whenever um, work flies me somewhere cool. Been to San Francisco once before, but I think I had something sort of uh, left over to prove to myself, I guess. Back then, I was really just starting out in photography. I remember shooting with this gigantic 20 to 75, like full frame, constant aperture, 2.8, you know, taking photos of people a block away crossing the street. Pretty different from how I shoot now. Not every single shot was terrible, but you know, I was a beginner. Um, I was just starting out. where the whole proving myself thing comes in, I guess, is really from my love of the city. I really loved San Francisco from the moment I set foot in the city for the first time, and that love has, uh, has not faded. You know, maybe if I lived there, I would get tired of it over time, but that's kind of how I feel about everywhere, so. The ocean meets the city in a way that's not quite like LA, um, not quite like the other towns on the coast. It's striking, actually, if you've ever had the chance to drive up the West Coast, how much California changes from SoCal to Northern California. San Francisco has that sort of trademark misty fog that looms over it a lot of the time, but I think it just makes the sunshine feel that much more special when you do get a nice day in the Bay Area. This time around, spending so much more time in the city, uh, I mean over a week compared to a matter of literally hours passing through the first time. I kind of set out to do San Francisco justice in a way that I didn't the first time.
ever feel like I accomplished that goal? Yes and no. Are you ever really done documenting a city? Do you ever really get every single shot that you wanted exactly the way that you imagined it? No, and you never really do. You could be bored to tears with the city um, and still not be out of ways to photograph it.